Welcome back to ES Storiata. While most kids their age were playing video games, these next two delegates we're introducing you to were playing with coconut leaves to weave works of art. Hafa day, I'm Leah Varsinas from the village of Molestu. I've been weeping for 15 years and I'll be a delegate at the Festival of Pacific Arts here in Guam 2016. Hafa day, my name is Arissa Barcinas. I'm 17 years old. I've been weaving for about 10 years and I'm from the village of Molestu. I will be a delegate at the 2016 Festival of Pacific Arts. These Southern sisters have been weaving since they were little girls. I started weaving when I was about five years old. We learned from my grandmas and my Nina, Martha Tenorio. Um, some of the first things that we wove together were the thatch roofs for the Belen. So every Christmas time we would gather all the family and we would go to the yard and weave and that's when my grandmas would teach us like how to make the toys. As for Arissa, she started when she was seven, when she attended the Harau Academy. We started off with like fish and like the simple things and then we would have to perfect it before and be able to do it on our own before we could learn something else. So we would, we started with like fish, simple stuff and moved on to baskets, wreaths. Um, it's definitely something that I took home and enjoyed doing like in free time we just weave. Um, weave around like our cousins and stuff, we teach them how to weave different toys. Six years ago, they became apprentices of local artist Phil Sablon. So we first met Uncle Phil um, from my dad, who was classmates with him in high school. And he's like, oh, my classmate does all this weaving. And it's really cool. And we're just like, yeah, right, Dad. Like, <laughs> nobody does that kind of stuff. Like, nobody makes a zuzu out of coconut leaves. Um, and then we met Uncle Phil and he brought down his pictures with his like dolphins and manta rays and we were like, oh my goodness, these are like so crazy and so beautiful. Um, and so after a few years, uh, we continued like just weaving on our own and he asked us if we wanted to be apprentices and so of course we said yes. Um, and yeah, it's really cool just to, to be his apprentices and just see how his mind works and how he comes up with all these different things um, and it's yeah it's really inspiring um, to just see weaving like this because it really reminds you that weaving is something that's constantly changing and there's so many different ways that you can weave one item um, and so it's just really cool to be in that kind of space and also to create it's kind of really cool to you. A lot of people will say traditional weaving um, is really cool because it hasn't changed um, since our, the time of our ancestors. But contemporary weaving is also really cool because it's kind of, to me, you're kind of closer to your ancestors because it's where they're at like when they first started to make these traditional baskets. Um, and so you get to kind of see like look at coconut leaves and say, what can you do with this? And how can we make, how can you make this hammerhead or something? So it's kind of really exciting. There's so much more possibilities when you look at coconut leaves like that. The first thing he taught us was, um, was a new way to weave up the fish, a less complicated way. And that actually was one of the most exciting things that we've learned because we've had to do the fish like, around our, we'd have to wrap it around our hand and do like all kinds of bows and stuff, but this one was really simple and came together really quick. So that was exciting. And then we moved on to the coconut crabs, the turtles. 
Their talent landed them delegate spots to the Festival of Pacific Arts in the Solomon Islands and again representing Guam here at home. In 2012 when we went down to the Solomon Islands we had no idea what to expect. Um, we had never been to a fest talk before and so going in we were like pretty nervous and we weren't sure like what we're gonna do. Um, so they just gave us like our schedules of these are the days that you're going to be weaving down at the main booth and so we we collected our coconut leaves um, and they brought it down to the the festival grounds and we just started weaving little things and all of a sudden there was like a huge crowd all around us and we normally just weave like at home so nobody's really watching us like that and it was kind of crazy to see how interested everyone was in like our types of weaving and it got to the point where we had to like kind of rope off the area because people were just getting a little bit too crowded um, and we couldn't even like move the leaves around. Um, but it was really fun to like be in that kind of energy and just seeing all of these people who are just really excited about cultural arts and um, really encouraging you to like keep practicing um, our arts and traditions. Uh, so we sat down with a lot of weavers and just a lot of different artists um, just to see all the different things that they're making and how they're practicing it and how they continue to practice their traditions were really inspiring. Um, and also just bonding with our delegation and seeing um, all of our people like come together to represent our island is really empowering um, as a young artist. And so I think it's gonna be really exciting for our people to see what we got to experience on the Solomon Islands. Um, here at home, uh, yeah, it's a really once in a lifetime opportunity that we're gonna have this festival here where all these artists from around the world who have maintained their traditions and culture despite colonization and all sorts of things are gonna be here to celebrate our heritage as a Pacific people. During the Festival of Pacific Arts, you can expect to see another amazing collaboration from the Barcina sisters and artists Phil Sablon. Uncle Phil has been talking to us about making this project for a long time, so we'll be doing the Serena. Um, I really like the legend of Serena because she's a young Chihuahua girl who really followed what she loves to do, and I think that's something that all of our artists have in common is they really pursue their passions, and so. I think um, weaving the serena is really fitting because it's kind of in honor of all of our artists who follow what they really love to do. Keep it here. We'll introduce you to another Team Guam delegate after the break. <laughs> 